The word abstinence is thrown around a lot, especially in our culture, but what does that actually mean? Today we're going to find out as I torture my friends with an exercise that I learned about while I was taking the Sexuality Education Certification Series at the Planned Parenthood League of Massachusetts in December. Hi, I'm Jack. I'm Jordan from Rum and Board. I'm also Jordan, affectionately referred to as Girl Jordan. <laughs> Hi, I'm Robin. I'm Meryl. I'm also part of the Rum and Board team, which is a board gaming YouTube channel. Okay, I want you guys to define the word abstinence, as in sexual abstinence, not abstaining from alcohol, or something else. We have to make the best definition. We have to beat the other yes, team's definition. Do. Okay, um. so abstinence is... I feel like I've usually like heard it used in the context of like vaginal sex specifically. Um, like I feel like people are like, well, I've known people who are like, I'm absent until marriage, but they're like having other kinds of what I would consider sex. So I don't know if I should go with the, the definition I think is popular or the definition that I would hold, which is like, <laughs> if you're having sex, you're having sex and yeah. therefore not absent. I think it's like refraining from sexual activity. You, are you really more of a like waiting and then at some point you'll stop being abstinent. There's it's definitely most commonly choosing. Sex. Yeah, there's a choosing choice too. component. Yeah. I guess when when I think of abstinence only education, I think of the idea of no sex whatsoever. Any kind. Um, any kind, even masturbation. Uh -huh. So the idea of no sex, sexual interaction mm -hmm. um, with yourself or others is how I think of it when when, when it's abstinence only education. Ooh. Refraining from sexual activity for choosing, some amount of choosing, time. Choosing yeah. to refrain from it. Sex, sex, what is sexual activity? Particularly, it could be sex. anything from holding hands up until having sex. So it depends. But, but I think that's, that's particularly up to, that's up to individual interpretation. I think You're, what the sexual activity is. Oh, but, yes. but I think Ten seconds left. I would say like something like refraining, probably refraining from smaller societal subgroups. Yeah. It also. I would say refraining from sex from sexual activity by choice, particularly sex. Because like. In common usage. I don't know. I would say there's like sexual activity is determined by your like, social suburb yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But well, if we're going to like condense and like put it together, so abstinence would be the um, not ending, but not engaging in some amount of sexual con conduct with either yourself or others. I feel like I don't. I don't know if I get the yourself part. Okay, then just with go. others. I feel like abstinence only education just like doesn't acknowledge masturbation, but I mean, but it doesn't encourage it either. That's true. As like a preventative. Yeah. It's just like no sexuality's bad. Don't do any of the things. No pleasure for you. That's how I feel. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna add that no pleasure for you. <laughs> Refraining from sexual activity for a period of time by choice, where sexual activity is determined by culture. Not engaging in sexual conduct with others. No pleasure for you. So just one last time, can you um, one one at a time read your definitions again? So three extra. Definition. Refraining from sexual activity for a period of time by choice where sexual activity is determined by culture. Not engaging in sexual conduct with others, no pleasure for you. Okay, now I want you teams to switch. So you stand by that one, and you guys stand cool. by this one. Okay. So now I'm going to provide you with some examples of sexual activities, and I want you to decide whether other the groups, the, the definition in front of you, whether that by that definition, that behavior would be allowable or not allowable. But yeah, so first we have penis to vagina sex. Oh <laughs> man. Okay. This would not be allowed by their definition. <laughs> Death this not. Definition. Yeah, that'd be too much pleasure, hopefully. <laughs> I mean, so this is not specific by design, but I feel like if one kind of sex was like not allowed by... <laughs> or de is determined by sexual culture yeah, like sexual it, activity. It would be this one, so we're like, not to the Okay, the next activity is sharing an ice cream sundae. Allowed. No pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna do this. Yes. Allowable, I would say. I would agree. <laughs> <laughs> Although the lawyer in me is saying that this is an ambiguous. I got term. mono doing this in high school. <laughs> <Wrong>. so... <laughs> All right, the next one up is masturbation. Mm. This would be allowed. That's not allowed. What? Others. What? <laughs> well, no, if you're the other team, others, yeah. no pleasure for you with others. Yeah, yeah with others. Sure. Why that? I feel like in the widest interpretation of this, this is not allowed. Yeah. 
decidedly sexual. I don't know. Okay. Next we have massaging a partner's back. Well, I'd go with probably loud. Wait, this is, oh, what is a partner? Like, like not like, your, like you could totally do whatever. like, like no, guy, like guy, massage. or girl, girl. Yeah. In most cultures would be totally loud by its definition. But I think, I don't think massage, back massage doesn't typically count as sexual conduct regardless. <laughs> So I no, I was gonna say allowed. that this. It depends on like, cause like massaging a partner is like my shirt on, that you're like shirt off is probably different. Yeah, but and also back. like it was just like general. But massaging. still, I mean, just like touching in that kind of intimate way. I would say no. I would say yes. I would say that's allowable. Yeah, I, I think I think it's allowable. I feel like because it specifies that it's a partner, it's like seems more sexual than just like massaging someone's back randomly. Okay, well then I guess sexual activity could be determined as massage because of the term partner. So, do we want to be extreme? Yes! Okay, we're gonna be extreme! Not allowed. Okay. Alright, we're putting up some other definitions that we found from some other sources. So I want you to, um, for the four activities that we already gave you, um, now fill in these two definitions together. Okay, so, let's start with penis to vagina sex. Wikipedia definition. <laughs> sexual abstinence is the practice of refraining from some or all aspects of sexual activity for medical, psychological, legal, social, financial, philosophical, moral, or religious reasons. Some or all aspects of sexual Maybe allowed. Activity. You could refrain from only <laughs> some aspects. When you think of abstinence, you think of it like this is like abstinence. I feel like I, in, I feel like in this definition you could refrain from like Kinky sex would be like a valid, valid like interpretation. But like, if you take that part, then we're just gonna say anything's allowed. For allowable, would you be like, I have penis to vagina sex, but I abstain from okay. masturbating. Or Oral something. sex. I mean, Oral I feel sex. like you know there I'm are some, there are some. I can't imagine. Oh some yeah, there are some sex religious for institutions. Yeah, where, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. This is allowed, but like oral sex and anal sex are not like because that's true. Like Catholic You're wasting doctrine. Your sperms. Um, yeah, because you don't have that many. That's so I guess. precious. Yeah. Yeah. That's so <laughs> precious. But I think in general, like, this would not be allowed. Like yeah, if we're yeah. but I think with this definition and the way it's phrased, because Lawsuit. it says some or all, it means like this could be allowable while you're still yeah. not doing certain aspects. So you think it should be allowed? Good? I don't think it should be allowed. I think oh, that it's it allowable be. by this specific definition. Yeah, can, not be by allowed. Yeah. 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 Robin's basically a lawyer, so. <laughs> <laughs> Abstinence is voluntarily choosing to not engage in certain sexual behaviors, including any sexual behavior that can result in pregnancy or STIs, including HIV. So I think for this one, it's not allowed because from the way I parse the sentence, any sexual behavior mm. is a thing you're not including. Like, it's yeah, choosing not to engage what if you in have, any sexual yeah. behavior. What if you have really good protection? Yes, yes. Yeah, but Planned Parenthood would tell you that there's no such thing as being 100% protected. Yeah. Unless you just totally you. don't have a uterus. Right, yes. Are you ready for the next one? Sharing an ice cream sundae. Sharing Sunday. an ice cream sundae. I would say that this is allowed by this definition. Yeah. I, I mean, we literally allowed penis to be done sex, so. <laughs> 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 <You're lying. laughs> there's some ordering there. Sharing an ice cream sundae, Planned Parenthood. Can you get STIs from sharing ice cream sundae? You said got mono, you but that's STI. STI. If you both it's have bloody gums, sundae. I think it's possible. But unlikely. Okay. And <laughs> I feel like uh, mint chocolate chip might be able to mess up your mouth. Not on your chocolate chip. It's poking <laughs> into your Sunday. Why would you? <laughs> You're making this very hard. Why would you ever share a Sunday with somebody's bleeding into their mouth? <laughs> like unless you're eating like rate like you can raspberry sherbet or something. You like don't. <laughs> that would be terrible. I think, I think this, this is going to be allowed. Yeah, I think this is too. Masturbation. All right, well, let's go back true. over here. Well, I think if we apply the penis to vagina rule, that we allowed that. I assume that, like, you could refrain from it, but it could also be allowed. Wow. We but I think we've decided so we're gonna so not let. So generous. <laughs> let's just have everything. In case you were defining how you were gonna be abstinent. Based up by Wikipedia. Wikipedia. Well, that's good because then you get to pick and choose. Wikipedia is the source of truth. Now, now just anyone is going to come on oh, the internet actually, and Google yeah. like abstinence and then start telling people they're abstinence because they do all of these things. <laughs> 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 
That's not We're good. We're tearing the fabric <laughs> of society here. This we are. And I wouldn't care, but like. You need to use protection. You care. I care about people's like safety. If people have different working definitions of accidents, that's a problem. Maybe that's why we're talking about that's it. That's probably what we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Masturbation round two. Mm. Masturbation <laughs> cannot result in pregnancy unless there's a horrible yes, accident. I would say I, allowable by the definition. Yeah. yeah. I agree. I there feel like there should have been a third category that's like that depending we could put on how everything you feel in? about it. Put that would have been everything. <laughs> okay. Um so we have a bunch more words here. Uh, you can go more quickly. I think the key difference it's between really these two uh, is yeah. this is like you choosing what you want to refrain from, and this is society By choosing. Choice. This is society you. choosing what you're refraining from, even though you're choosing to refrain from those culture. set of activities. Uh, So, for all of these definitions, do these t-shirts look the same? No! no. <laughs> uh, what are some really big differences that you, uh, between the different definitions that you noticed? Um, this one's really broad! What about some of the others? Well, I thought that was interesting because like, we specified by culture and some of these are like more your personal choice. So, that's a whole section of the abstinence discussion is like who's making the decision about who is abstinent and when. What are some important parts of the definitions that vary between definitions? Um, the idea of choice was interesting, the different terms that were used. Um, so refraining versus um, voluntarily choosing, and then the term not engage, I guess, versus refrain. Um, and then the, the period of time. Some specify that it's like for a certain amount of time, and some don't specify any amount of time. This one feels like you could like become absent again after like having sex or doing whatever and some of the other ones feel like they're like a thing that you do for some period of time and then maybe that changes at some point but it's not specific. Alright, um, before this exercise if someone had told you that they were absent, what would you have known what that meant? You would have asked more questions. Yeah. <laughs> I would have assumed that what they meant is they're not engaging in sex. Probably kind until of, marriage. The sort of people I imagine would say this to me, or it would be straight religious people. It's like the most common. Comment specifically and penetrative. So penetrative. Yeah. Anyway, okay. yeah. I think it might, a lot of people who would say that to you, like I'm abstinent, might think it was rude if you went and you had a follow up question of asking what they meant by that. Yeah. That's true. So if a partner told you, or a partner or someone you were interested in told you that they wanted to be abstinent, would you know what was and was not okay? Oh. Definitely you ask. Clarify. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely <laughs> the case. If it's someone that you are engaging with physically, then I would want more details on that. I mean, I feel like I want those details in general with partners, but like if they're trying to like draw a hard line by saying I'm abstinent, then I would be like, okay, like what can we do? <laughs> I feel like when someone just says the word absent, I would think, okay, some things are off bounds, like some things we are not doing. Um, so that it would just be an awareness that some things are not okay, mm -hmm. which doesn't necessarily tell me anything about what is okay. Mm -hmm. But I, yeah, but like as a, like a straight man, if my partner was like, I'm absent, I would assume that they meant at least no sex, mm -hmm. no like penis vagina sex, probably maybe other types. Yeah. I, would, I wouldn't assume it. They're like, I'm absent under our version of Wikipedia, which means possibly <laughs> anything is allowed. Was there anything else that you noticed while you were doing this exercise that you didn't get a chance to talk about? The moral of the story is, if somebody says they're abstinent, communicate with them. Because there's so many different things that could be happening. They could be in Wikipedia, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> you do what you want. <laughs> Bye. Bye! Thanks for watching! Happy, Happy consenting! consenting. Don't abstain from Sarah's what channel. <laughs> 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 <laughs>